Hey guys, what is going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on Fiddlesticks, one of the junglers that is really powerful, and we'll be doing a little guide on them. Also, Malzahar is OP, and I'm a fucking retard. We're not thinking he was OP, but that may be for another video. But for now, we're going to be talking about Fiddlesticks, and he is one of the hidden strong junglers right now. Like, he's probably top 5 with the changes he's received, and you might have seen him pop up in solo key already. But yeah, this video is just going to be talking about him, and why he's good, and just a little guide and tips for him. Also, this video is sponsored by Pro Guides. Check them out for all your ranked game needs, and they also have this new chatterbait section where you can talk to people live and ask them questions. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so Fiddlesticks, he got big buffs in patch 69. He's fucking legit dabbing on people and destroying solo queue as we speak. I mean, well, Malzahar is probably worse, but he's definitely up there. Like, they made a change to his passive where it made it super OP since it gives 25% to 40% bonus movement speed whenever you're standing still for 1.5 seconds. And also the duration of the buff is about 1.5 seconds. Now Fiddlesticks' base movement speed is about 335. That's pretty average if you look at this chart right here. So that's pretty decent and the movement speed bonus percentage will affect him decently good. And let's say you combine that movement speed with Swiftness boots, that's going to be a very fast Fiddlesticks when he uses his ultimate or comes off draining from someone. And the passive is actually used a lot, like frequently since you're draining people, channeling your ultimate, or even when you're dead and you spawn from base. So you get a little extra movement speed when you're just coming off the platform. So ask yourself this, would you rather have this 25% to 40% bonus movement speed whenever you're standing still, or would you rather have 10 magic resist reduction to everyone? Which is actually pretty good, but I mean, the movement speed definitely helps so much with Fiddlesticks' kit. Also the drain changes seems like a slight buff, because most of the time you probably won't be getting a full duration drain on someone except monsters but also here's another thing to think about fiddlesticks he doesn't really care too much about cooldown reduction he's more of a champion who has one shot at a team fight and he won't really have a second chance so yeah the cooldown would be the same if he has zero percent cooldown reduction but i mean 40 percent cdr on the old fiddlesticks was definitely better since you could have a permanent drain it's not really a big deal to be honest since after you drain you want to reposition yourself for other spells or in another drain position overall it is a slight buff also, for some reason, I don't know why, but Dark Wind's bounces has increased to 7 instead of 5, with no nerfs to it at all, like not even the base damage. In fact, it got a buff similar to Brand's ultimate, where it now prioritizes targets who are being drained by Fiddlesticks. So basically, if you target someone in a teamfight, and there's also other units beside him, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. By the way, the silence only works once, so there's no perma silence, but it's still strong. The only nerf they gave to Fiddlesticks was his Q having 50 less range. You know, to be honest, I don't really feel much of a difference, and I guess you can say the movement speed we get from our passive definitely makes up for the 50 lost range. Overall, the biggest emphasis is going to be on the updated passive. That should be getting a nerf in the next patch. If not, okay, he's still going to be really strong. Now, we're going to be talking about the item build and, you know, all the good stuff, but this is going to be a little custom build I use myself, and I do know there's other builds, but I'm really liking this utility Fiddlesticks build. I haven't tried AP Blues yet, but Fiddlesticks' AP ratios are actually one of the highest in the game, so you could go AP flat or even AP per level. Either way, both are correct, but maybe even AP flat blues or AP per level are the better way to go, but I'm not 100% sure because I have not tested it. As for masteries, you're probably wondering what the hell? Storm Raider Surge, why would you go that? So Fiddlesticks actually procs us a lot since he does have major burst damage. So since we're going to utility build on Fiddlesticks, he actually runs pretty fast when he procs us and he wants to run up and catch the enemies with his Crow Storm so he can deal tons of damage while also slowing them. And you know, just being super annoying. So check out this clip of me just using my ultimate and just getting hella movement speed coming out of my ass. And it's just like, whoa, man, why is Fiddlesticks so goddamn fast? Now, if my team wasn't distracted by Lee Sin, I think they could have, you know, maybe got the kill on Alistair, but they do get the kill on Lee Sin. But you can see the movement speed does seem really good. So trust me, just try this mastery and you won't regret it. But yes, I feel that getting Rylai's after my Luden's Echo is actually really nice because I'm just a huge slowing machine with it and I kind of rely on my teammates to follow up on my initiation. So it definitely is really nice. Now, despite the clips in the video, I actually learned recently that it is better to max out E second instead of Q and here's a logical reason why. So say you are in and then you fear somebody. 
and say your queue is maxed out. That's a 2.25 second fear. But usually, right after you use your fear, you will use your silence. So that silence CC duration is used for about 0.5 seconds since there's a little travel time plus it will only last for 1.25 seconds. So in that duration of your fear, you're probably using your E for like maybe 0.5 seconds of duration. And you probably won't need to slow from the fear since you already have the slow coming from your Rallye's Crystal Scepter on all of your abilities. Also remember your Q is a single target fear while E is, well, AoE. So what do you want more, AoE damage or a single target fear where your CC combo is already about 2.5 seconds on a single target. So that's why we max out E second. Now, we're going to be talking about some situational items. You might want to go CDR boots because Flash is actually really good on Fiddlesticks because you want to nuke the squishies. Or you could go Sork Shoes first if you want to go full nuke. And of course an Abyssal if the enemy team has a lot of magic damage. And even a Spirit Fissage if they have a lot of magic damage. So yeah, this is my build for Fiddlesticks. It looks kind of weird, but trust me, I think you will like it a lot. Alright, so now we're going to be going on to tips and tricks. And there's going to be about 10 of them, so that's kind of nice. And for our first tip, Sweeper is going to be your best friend. So the reason this is going to be your best friend is because this trinket is going to tell you what is warded and what is not, and if you're in the fog of war or not. Fiddle 6 is the type of champion who doesn't want the enemy to know where he is at all times, so he can get a really nice clean ultimate onto the enemy team, and just winning the team fight for his team. If the enemy knows where he is, well they're gonna be mentally preparing for it and like either disengaging when they see when he's coming in, hugging the opposite side of where he is, or holding onto their knockback like Janna's ultimate or even Alistair's headbutt for Fiddle 6, and yeah, they're just gonna be preparing for Fiddle 6 when he comes in. Or if you're in lower ELO, they'll just forget about him even if they saw him and then get destroyed by his ultimate. Just saying, I've seen that happen quite a few times. But yeah, if you have the Oracle Lens, it's going to be really nice since they don't know where you are and you can get a clean ultimate onto the enemy team. Alright, so for our next tip, try and target the squishies when you come in with your ultimate and just try and butt sex everyone. There's a high probability that you, if you get in range of them with your R, your W, your E, your Q, basically all your spells, you'll probably kill them. Now, since you're targeting squishies, you always want to check to see if they have a QSS or not. Now, to all the people complaining about why I press tab so much in game when I'm doing live gameplays or whatever, this is one of the reasons why I press tab a lot, to see if an enemy has some items that may counter me in some way. So yeah, pressing tab a lot while you're in game can actually be very helpful. For the next step, here's a basic combo for fiddle sticks. First off, use your ultimate, then try and get in range for your fear, then use your E, and then use your W. Because your goal is to CC them as quickly as possible, so you can start draining your enemies without any retaliation. Now, before you start draining, you'll see in this clip that I actually got as close as possible to the enemy before I started draining. For our next tip, in the mid game and late game, try to stay in the fog of war as much as possible. This is similar to the first tip, but puts a little reiteration, and Fiddlesticks is one of those characters who just like to be not known where his presence is, so he can always try and surprise the enemy in some way. For the next tip, your R has a longer length over walls. As long as you cast it halfway over the wall, you will appear on the other side, thus giving your R's ability range a little bit more than intended. So remember this trick when you're hiding behind walls. For our next tip, try and look for dives with your R. Since you can CC enemies for a while, tower dives should be easy as long as they die in like 2.5 seconds. It's very easy to do as long as you stay out of vision and they don't have a ward somewhere. Now, even though Fiddlesticks is a good initiator, he's actually a really good counter initiator because the enemies will be walking into his team, so it kind of sets him up for a really good ultimate, and can also definitely change the tide of the fight. But remember, if they see you, they can counteract some of your abilities. So yeah, just like stay in the fog of war somehow, or just be in a bush. Now for our next tip, sometimes you can ult straight in front of the enemy since your ultimate is also a gap closer and as long as you know the enemy does not have flash or any escapes or whatever, so you can definitely kill them right in front of their eyes and they'll have a little bit of time to see their demise before they die. You'll probably see me use this a lot since I'm very aggressive with my ultimate and if it's not a team fight and it's more of a pick, it doesn't really matter if they see me coming because I'll probably get a flash or kill them. And for our last tip for the early game, go for 50-50 farm gank style where 50% of the time you're farming and 50% of the time you're actually ganking. Fiddle 6 has decent ganks but also decent clears so that's why you kind of balance it out. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this guide was very useful to you and you got something out of it. Otherwise, this video was probably wasting your time, but who knows. And in my last video, I asked you guys, what possible item builds do you think will happen for junglers? And here's some of my favorite answers. For a chance to be featured in a future video, make sure to comment below on what do you guys think about Fiddlesticks? 
Do you think he's good? Do you think he's gay? Do you think he's straight? You know, just what are your thoughts on Fiddlesticks? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panther Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time. Stick your bowling ball. Nico, it's your cousin. Why don't you take me bowling? And afterwards, we'll go get drunk and go rock and rolling. Cousin, it's your cousin. Let's get the bleeder burger and wash away the taste of all that garbage, crime, and murder. Nico, it's your cousin. Why don't